Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the Kilo, but first I'm going to just apologise for my mic. It's still not working properly and if my voice sounds a bit louder or quieter than usual then I apologise. I am having to hold my mic just because the stand is not working very well. But we are going to be talking about the best loadout for the Kilo and whether it's been nerfed or whether it just never went away. So we're going to be talking a little bit about that. So I feel like the Kilo has been a little bit overlooked with obviously the DMR being so overpowered recently. And now that we've got the FFAR and the AMAX are sorting to take Storm in the Warzone. So I feel like everybody's going to be using that, which means the Kilo is just being a little bit overlooked. But as you'll see from some of the clips that I show you that it still hits from range and up close. So my loadout is in the background, feel free to use it. Uh, this is just what I run in the war zone. These are all the attachments. These are the ones that I found best to use in war zone. So we're gonna talk about the claims that it was nerfed at the back end of December. It was supposedly nerfed with the R9 shotgun around the 20th of December, I believe it was, in a patch update. On Twitter, a few people seem to disagree with that including Modern Warzone saying that there was no nerf at all. Also, True Game Data saying that the values of the Kilo in Warzone and multiplayer were the exact same, albeit long range nerf. So I'm gonna be showing you a few videos just now of the recoil pattern. So this is just the pattern when you hold down the trigger and nothing else. Just looking, just looking down the sight and holding down the trigger. And as you'll see from it, it goes straight up and to the left. So it's not one of the worst recoil patterns. It's very, very manageable. As you'll see in the second video that I show you, and that's where I've controlled the recoil a little bit with the analog stick or the mouse if you are on PC, obviously. So as you can see from the videos, that the recoil pattern isn't too bad and it is in fact very, very manageable. And I didn't really have any problems with this in the war zone. A lot of people won't be able to lock onto the head like straight away or anything like that. So even if you are shooting them from the body, the recoil is going to send it up to the head anyway. You can manage the recoil and stuff like that. If you have a good enough aim and you can aim for their head, then great. But if you're like me and you haven't got the best of aim, you can get a lot of body shots off. The recoil will in fact send it up the body. Not ideal, but if you're, one of, if you're a player like me, then it's, it's quite handy. So personally, I feel like it is very much a gun that can challenge in the war zone. I mean, the FFAR up close just absolutely shreds. If you're carrying your overkill class and you've got your kilo with the VLK sight, which is very, very decent from range, especially in the end game as well when the circle is a bit tighter. And if you've got your overkill class, chances are you're going to have a MAC-10. The MP5, the Cold War one, shreds as well that I found. So if you are carrying the kilo and you want something that's a bit more up close, then the MP5 will do the job as well. Although I do recommend still using the MAC. I think the MAC is just the best close range weapon that we still have in the war zone. So I'm going to finish off this video showing you a few clips. One is from Rebirth and Final Endgame. I wasn't planning on recording this bit of the game. It was just at the end, so I actually captured it on my Xbox DVR. I was doing solo duos on the Resurgence ones, so you can see at the end where I just clip. I think the guy might have been damaged anyway, but I managed to clip a guy and kill him. At the end, I managed to get the guy as well. And then in the other clip, it's a normal Warzone game running duos. Just before my DVR caught the action, I had killed someone prior to this, but it will just show you the different ranges. So I get a guy up close, and then I get a guy that's slightly further away. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it just gave you a little bit of insight. I know a lot of people are trying to run different guns, and like I said, a lot of people running the FAR and the AMAX. I think the DMR is starting to make a comeback as well. There's people claiming that that's not been nerfed or it's been buffed again or unnerfed. So we'll see, but I just thought I'd give you an insight to the Kilo and what it can still do in the war zone. These video clips were recorded yesterday, so it's very much up to date. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, 
send me your comments, give me some recommended loadouts of your own. I'm open to try different weapons and different kilo variants just to see what they're like. So let me know. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Solid.